Here's an email from a lady, which I love. I, we don't get to hear from the ladies. It's a fucking goddamn sausage fest over here. Fucking bratwurst on the fire every goddamn podcast here. Um, he's just a fucker sometimes. What the hell is it? Uh, sometimes on Friday nights, I like to watch scary movies w- with my husband and kids. My husband always gets pissed off halfway through the movie about me being a horrible parent and ushers the children out of the room. These are thriller movies, not gore or extreme violence. Our boys are 7 and 11. They are well-adjusted, good boys. They are on the honor roll at school. We are involved parents and eat a family dinner together every night. All right, well, it looks like you're crushing it so far. We are not parents that expose them to everything and anything, but they do get spoken to about real shit. My issue is... My husband lets them play Fortnite, Call of Duty, listen to Eminem, and all alternative rock music. Yeah, well, what the fuck? They can't watch a thriller at that point? They even hear your podcast. I'm fucking sick of being told I'm a bad parent. Well, first of all, if you're going to try to get your partner to hear what you're saying and how you feel, you can't say that they're a bad parent. Um, who the fuck's going to be listening after that? You're going to get offended and you're going to get defensive and then that's going to be the end of any sort of uh, logical conversation, right? Anyways, I want to... Ex- he said, because I want to expose them to scary movies on occasion. It's something my sister and I always did growing up with my dad and we were not messed up from it. My husband says that because I work with children as a school administrator, I should know not to expose their minds to this because it will fuck them up. And they're playing, f- I don't even know what Fortnite is, but I imagine that's one of those gun games. And they're listening to M&M's in, th- in this fucking podcast. Um, I wouldn't let my kid listen to this podcast. Uh, my husband says, blah, 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 blah. he will persevere on this topic until I want to punch him in the face. Instead, he ruins the movie and the kids leave the room and I go to bed. What are your thoughts on this? Am I a horrible mom? Keep in mind, if there's a sex scene, it's fast-forwarded. Thank you. Um, He's a hypocrite. It's like he can expose him to fucked up shit because he's into that stuff. Fortnite, Call of Duty, listening to Eminem. I don't want alt-rock has to do with anything, but... And I think they'll be all right. You know, and I used to watch those fucking movies. I was fine. Um, Like, I understand him not wanting them to watch those movies. I get that. But not if you're also letting them do the other stuff. So what I would try to do is just sit down and say, listen, I want to talk to you about this because we keep fighting about these movies. Um, And this is a question. I don't want you to get upset. I'm just asking because I want to find a solution and not have a fight here. Um, Why do you feel that thrillers movies are bad for them to watch, but it's not bad for them to play violent video games or listen to Eminem or the Monday morning podcast? And if he hops and pops and gets mad, then then he's, he's a fucking baby. And what you have to do then is keep your cool. And as he flips out, don't flip out. You have to remain calm. And just sit there and be like, you know, you got to be like Ben Kingsley in Sexy Beast. Like, why are you swearing? I'm not swearing. You stay in that fucking thing. Like, why are you raising your voice? I'm not raising your voice. I'm trying to find a solution here. And you're... You know, you're name calling and you're doing all of this stuff. Like, this isn't acceptable. Maybe, you know, when you calm down and you want to talk about this, all right, I am more than willing, if you can give me a logical reason, I'm more than willing to stop doing this. But if you can't give me a logical reason, I'm going to continue the tradition of watching the movies like I did with my dad, with my kids, and you're not going to come in and ruin them and tell me that I'm a horrible parent. Yeah, you know what? You need to put your foot down, sweetheart. Okay. Yeah, like that. I mean, as far from where I'm sitting, that guy doesn't have a fucking leg to stand on. I would, I would think that sitting there watching some stupid thriller movie 
is not as bad as fucking playing a video game where you're shooting people. Because I remember I used to play video games, right? And they were just taking up too much of my time. So I, I literally unplugged the fucking thing and stuck it in the back of the closet. And I unplugged all the wires because I knew I would never be able to figure it back out, you know, how to do it. And I didn't keep the instruction booklet. And I never watched them again, right? Never played them again. But, like, I used to play this sniper game. And when you press down on this one button, it would have that, you know, the sniper X. And it would, like, focus in on somebody's head. And I played that game so much over the course of a week. I walked out into the streets of New York and I was looking at people and I was seeing that sniper thing on their fucking head. Now, I'm not a lunatic, so I didn't do anything. But I was just like, what the fuck is that? Like, I don't, I never watched a thriller movie, you know, and then walked outside and thought about, you know, stabbing somebody or shooting somebody. You know why? Because I think the fucking movie, it's, you're not as connected to it. And it's over in like 90 minutes where like you can spend a day playing a video game, just disappear down a rabbit hole. Um, yeah. All right. Well, you know. I mean, granted, all I heard was your side of the story, but um, from what I'm hearing, I 100% think you're in the right. So good luck with that. Put your foot down. But I'm telling you, don't. It seems like your husband is an emotional person. So when you get with somebody like that, you, 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 it's up to you to drive the ship of emotion. You have to stay fucking calm. And if they're flipping out and you're not flipping out, then they just look like an idiot.